Hey guys, this is Joy. I am back again with another video. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Alright, if this is you guys' first time tuning in, my name is Joy. I am a coach for narcissistic abuse. I help people overcome narcissistic abuse, heal, and recover. Also, um, I am a love oracle and a tarot reader. So, I'm doing the tarot side of my channel today. So, um, welcome, welcome. Alright, so I kind of want to do... Um, I did Taurus, Pisces. I want to do Virgo. What are the messages that we can get for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for the second half of June, please? What are the messages that we can get for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? I feel like someone's unhappy. Maybe because, like, you're being victorious or someone that you're dealing with is victorious. Someone could feel regretful as well is what I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody is wanting to make a decision. Somebody could be coming off as cold, mean, and detached. Also, you guys, I wanted to say if you guys would like to book a personal or a private reading, that information is in the description box. Or if you would like to get an extended on this reading, that as well is in the description box. And I did want to say thank you to those of you that have left me donations. Thank you, thank you. And those that have already gotten personal and private readings, I appreciate all the support. And those that have gotten emergency readings. And two, you guys, I am doing my membership. For those of you that are interested, that would like to take a look at that, that information is in my um, description box. With the um, the membership, you do get um, several benefits and bonuses. Um, you automatically get entered into the free giveaways that I do. Um, you do get one reading um, every month. Um, so definitely check that out if you guys are interested. And we do do a, um, a live stream um, where you can ask me unlimited questions about your love life or we could just chop it up, talk about anything. But yeah, that information is below. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for the Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. So a lot of you Virgos could be going through a lot of conflict is what I feel. A lot of conflict, maybe trying to win at all costs. And yeah, there's an ending a betrayal maybe you betrayed someone or somebody betrayed you but there yeah there could have been you know somebody trying to win or somebody feels defeated in regards to a Taurus or a commitment of some sort so we're going to get the recent past energy the present energy the future energy the challenge and the potential outcome between you and another person so yeah there could be a breakup within a marriage or a commitment of some sort Let's see here. What's going on for my beautiful Virgos, please? Yeah, Virgos, I'm kind of getting... You guys could be going through a depression, maybe, or like just a difficult time right now. That's what I'm kind of picking up. Maybe you're like ruminating over something that happened in the past. Or someone's ruminating over what they did to you. Or somebody feels bad. Somebody feels guilty. Yeah, somebody could be holding back their emotions. Could be like being emotionally manipulative. Not like letting you know how they're feeling. What's going on in the recent past, please? Yeah, somebody could have felt like an offer was rejected. Or somebody rejected you or you rejected someone. Let's get some more cards for the present energy. What's going on in the present energy, please, for Virgos? Future energy, the challenge. What's the challenge? And the potential. Whoa, Virgos, you have a lot to say. You have a lot to say. Some of you guys might want a second chance with someone, but, you know, you could feel like that's going to get turned down. Or you want a second chance with Virgo, cross watcher. Let's get one for the potential outcome, please. Let's get one for the potential outcome, please. That's too many. Let's get one more for the potential outcome, please. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of June, please. What does Virgo need to know or what do they need to be on the lookout for? What's coming towards them? What can they expect? What's the potential outcome for the second half of June, please? All right. So yeah, we got the three of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like there's a challenge and there's some difficulties with collaborating with someone and working with someone. 
I feel like someone could be confused, but it looks like they're going to be overcoming this. Somebody could no longer be confused. Maybe they had a lot of options. I feel like someone's going to be making a decision. Yeah, something was unfair. Something was unbalanced. I do feel like someone is angry. They might be coming towards you with the temper. So, yeah. Or you might have the temper, Virgo. So, we have the Page of Cups here for the recent past in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Aries energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles for the future energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Magician card here, Virgo, Gemini energy. So here you guys are Virgo. And we have the Leo card here, Strength, for the potential outcomes. So some of you guys might have Leo in Rising. Like Leo somewhere could be in your chart, Virgo. Or somebody that you're dealing with might be a Leo. But um, somebody too could also be a little bit prideful, egotistical, very dramatic, liking drama. But with the Page of Cups in the reverse, it's like... Somebody could have turned down an offer or somebody could have wanted to apologize. That was turned down. Apology was not accepted, I feel. With the Queen of Wands in the reverse, or there was like somebody apologizing, but it wasn't really like sincere or something. But with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, it's like this could be another woman involved or someone is like not really interested in something anymore. It's what I feel. I'm like, what the heck is that? It sounds like a dog. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, this Queen of Wands here, it's like somebody is no longer passionate about something. And somebody's not asserting themselves in a situation. With the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there could be a new opportunity coming in for you guys. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with. Somebody might be wanting to make you an offer. Another offer. A bigger offer. You could be going into a new direction. With this um, magician card here. There, somebody's having a difficult time manifesting a situation. Manifesting a, um, something into their reality. It's like maybe somebody needs to have more confidence. Or maybe more belief in themselves. But somebody could be being a little sneaky because, see, we got the snake here. So somebody is being kind of sneaky. And with the strength card here, yeah, somebody's going to be having the courage to overcome something, I feel. Which is a good card to see in the end. But, yeah, somebody's having some sort of challenges and some difficulties in a situation. Yeah, it could involve family or multiple people. So let's see here. Why is the Page of Cups in the reverse, please, Spirit? Why do we have the Page of Cups in the reverse for the recent past between Virgo and their person for the second half of June, please? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces because I literally have these similar cards pop out. Somebody could have had two relationships going on, a friendship and one was a commitment or there could have been a, a commitment that was broken due to an outside influence or it was a friend or a family member or a relationship went from happy stable harmonious to you know a breakup because of somebody could have been immature or not really ready or not really open um, why is this Queen of Wands here in the present energy, please, for Virgo? That's too many. Why is the Queen of Wands in the reverse for Virgo, please? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries. Yeah, I feel like somebody could have been giving to more than one person. We got the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to balance the situation out, but I don't think that someone wants it anymore, honestly. 
someone's over it or somebody doesn't know how to speak up for what it is that they want. Like somebody needs to learn how to like assert themselves, say what it is that they mean and mean what they say. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to make an offer because I feel like somebody realizes that someone's serious, someone's done. You guys could be dealing with the Pisces. I feel like Pisces is like, I'm over this. But someone else is like, I'm not over you. <laughs> That's kind of like the same energy I'm getting. But um, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, like somebody is still wanting to come in and offer help or offer a new start or start something fresh or start something over. Why is this Magician card here as a challenge, please? Why do we have this Magician card here as a challenge, please? Why is the Magician card here as the challenge? That's too many. Yeah, someone, I just so happened to pick this one up. Someone doesn't um, want to be single, apparently. Or somebody is not liking the fact that you are enjoying being single and independent away from them. And it's like they want to come towards you quickly. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here in the Magician? Yeah, somebody needs to kind of take a break from a situation. They're having a difficult time letting something go. Why is this Strength card here, please? Why do we have the Strength card here, please? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the potential outcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's a Tower moment coming for Virgo. There's a tower moment. Yeah, there's some not so good news that's coming in for someone. Somebody could be at a distance from you. They might have something to tell you. You might not want to hear it. Or somebody needs to say something that they don't want to say, but I feel like they're going to have to end up saying it anyway. Now, we got this tower card here because there's going to be something that's going to be changing, something that's um, transformational, something that needs to change. And yeah, somebody could be watching you at a distance doing some research. So I want to see in the extended, we're going to take a look at this tower moment and we're also going to see what this person has to say to you. We're going to get some messages from this person to you. It looks like somebody was being manipulative. So we're going to see this person's feelings towards you, how they view you. What are their, how, what's, what are they going to be saying to you? You know, because I feel like some of you guys are turning down an apology, but at the same time. Somebody slowly but surely wants to come towards you with a commitment, but you guys have made your decision and you want to cut something out. And, and I feel like there could be multiple people involved. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, follow me over to the extended if you guys are interested and want to see what's going to be the overall outcome in this situation. We're going to see um, what the angel answers have to say as well as what the psychic tarot has to say along with the romance angels. Let's get some messages, just a preview of what's going to be in your extended. So what Virgo needs to know, messages from this person to you or vice versa. For the second half of June, please. If you guys like the way that I read, let me know. Or if you have any feedback. Let's see here. Yeah, somebody is longing for you, Virgo, or you're longing for someone. Let's get some messages. Whoa. All right, so it says this friendship is leading to more. So you guys are friends with someone and maybe you want it to be more. Something could also be strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. It says you are safe and um, divinely protected. So something could be all about the passion. Let me get one more and we'll clarify this in the extended as well. We'll dig a little bit more deeper here. Yeah, it says the relationship can stand the test of time. And we got marriage. It says this relationship is moving forward toward a scarce union. So that's interesting. So it kind of turned around, but there are some red flags, though. So, yeah. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video um, at the end of July. If you're not going to follow me over to the extended. Other than that, you guys have a great day and I will see you. Bye, guys.